God bless you and welcome to this episode where we're going to be installing the 2-inch cowl induction hood from JEGS on the C1500. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. Alright, so as you heard from the intro, if you didn't skip it, we are installing the JEGS cowl induction hood on the C1500. If you don't remember previous videos, I got this hood from the salvage yard has a little damage, nothing too crazy, but I wanted the cowl induction hood where I could have just put a scoop on it, but I'm not that good with body work. So with our tax money, I ended up getting this hood, which I've been wanting since I got the truck. I had a vision for this truck and I'm going to fulfill it, God willing, and it's gonna look really good. So I'm gonna actually have to have my wife's help to get this on there because it's not a Honda hood like I'm used to, really light and can do it by myself. I wanna make sure it goes in there without getting any damage and we'll see exactly how it looks. Now with this one, I think I paid 500. It'll be right there on the screen. Um, for the whole thing shipped to my house and it looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it open and show you what we're working with and then we'll get them swapped out. All right, so it may get loud because I live off of a highway and I'm just gonna apologize for that right now. I don't have my new mics yet, but they should be here anytime. Here is that beautiful hood. It's gonna look really, really good on there. Now it looks absolutely awesome. Um, a lot of people have had complaints about it coming damaged. The box was damaged, but there's no actual damage to it, so that's good. Uh, they have a little bit of foam in here, which sets up against it to keep it protected during shipping. But we're going to go ahead. My wife's going to come out. We're going to swap, take this hood out, take all the pieces off I need to transfer over, and then we'll get this in. But this will be sanded and primed in the future just like the rest of the truck. And then we are going to be doing a purple metallic flake bed liner over the whole thing. It's gonna look beautiful. I know bed liner, not everybody likes the bed liner, but I personally do. And uh, it's gonna look really good, just trust the process. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this moved out of the way. We'll get that hood off and get this bad boy on. All right, so we will have to switch this over in the spring. I'm not worried about that light under there. One right here. One down there on both sides. Two 13 millimeters takes this off. This, you can figure out how to get that out. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing taken off. Now we have a little bit of a gap on the driver's side, 
and a little bit bigger on the passenger, but that's as simple as loosening both of those two bolts there, and the two there, and just kind of messing with it and tightening them up until you get it where you want it. Unfortunately, I still have to replace this fender, so it's probably part of the issue because this fender is all messed up. I do have another one for it, I'm just not doing it right now, but it looks a lot better for sure. And I'm gonna show you, it pops perfectly fine. So when I first got this truck, it didn't pop whenever you did that. You'd have to like bang on the hood, but definitely really nice. This is pretty simple. Uh, you can pry these little pieces up and then the spring twists out and then pulls out. Um, when you get this, you will have to hammer them back down for that spring to go back in. And they did sell brand new hardware, but I just didn't have the funds to buy a brand new version of this or I can sand it down, sandblast it and repaint it and it'll look good as new. Um, as for these, they get kind of noisy, so I sprayed these with some Vestline No Squeak Spray, and they're not as noisy as they used to be, but definitely really nice construction. Definitely get what you pay for with this. Really nice. Costs a lot to me. I think $500 is a lot, but, you know. It has the functional breather, so it'll actually suck the heat out. And once we get the LS swap in here, I do plan on going supercharged in the future, God willing. If it doesn't go supercharged, it'll go turbo, but I'd rather go supercharged. It's just my thing. I like superchargers. Even though they don't make as much power, I still like how it sounds. But shuts pretty good and looks pretty good. So definitely say it's worth the money. So I will definitely have this one linked in the description. I'm not sponsored by them. That'd be super cool if I was, because this thing would be hooked up with all the cool parts. But this one that I bought will be linked in the description. They have different ones. I'm not sure the difference between them, but this one was the cheaper one. It was like 300 and something before tax shipping and all that stuff. Um, but it's really not a bad price for the total uh, price that I paid for it. And it's for the C1500, C2500, and 3500. And as you can see, GM, Chevy, you know, 88 through 98. And I did see on here that it fits up to 2000. So. I don't know if it's on the side, but somewhere. But uh, yeah, definitely really nice for sure. And um, can't wait to get this thing all sanded, primed, and painted so we can see what the finished product looks like. But definitely a big difference. Just, just the hood alone. It's a huge difference. Looks awesome. All right, so it's the next day. I wanted to show you what it looks like out in the sun. It looks really, really good. And if you didn't see the previous video where I installed the two-inch drop spindles up front. Uh, I had to bang this up on the fender to make some clearance because it was rubbing the tire and got all that taken care of. Things looking really good. Next thing we need to do is get this all sanded and primed so that way we can actually paint it. But uh, it's definitely turning out pretty good. Also, if you guys have been following the progress of the house, I went ahead and painted it all blue I think it looks a lot better. The wife wanted to do it this color and I just love how it turned out. We're still working on getting all of that area over there prepped, uh, waiting on a company to come out and stump grind. Also made a platform over here out of old wood. Sorry about the wind guys. So this is the platform I made out of some of the old wood from tearing the barn down. This is where the shed's gonna sit. Eventually we're gonna concrete, but this will work for now. Just basically put a frame together and it's a 10 by 10 where we're gonna have a shed so we can get all of this stuff in something because I do not like this, it looks trashy. And we got the back painted, but over here still needs painted. So we gotta get all that in a shed. So the shed should be here pretty soon. So we get that put in there and then we've gotta have the company come out and stump grind. I'm not just gonna burn that, it's too close to a lot of things to burn the stump out, but. but yeah, we're definitely making progress slowly but surely. The wind is picking up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, drop comments below, and share the video around, and subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to go ahead and roll my outro, and here it is. I just want to let you know the gospel, which means good news, and the good news is we don't have to live this way no more. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Jesus died and rose again, conquering death for you and I. When he went to the cross, he was thinking of you. No matter what you've done, you're only one step away from the cross. So all you have to do is repent, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead, and you will be saved. And I just pray that this message reaches the right person, because I don't know who this message is for, but I just put it at the end of my video and pray that it goes to the right person. So God loves you, he's calling you, and he even wrote a love letter to you. 
click the Bible link in the description. It's totally free. I get nothing from it other than the fact that you can make it to heaven. And it's not of your good works. It's not of mine. We are only saved through one name above every name, and that name is Jesus. And in the native tongue, it would be Yeshua. And if you want to go all the way back, Elohim, the creator of all, Jesus is calling you. He loves you, and he died for you. That's how serious it is. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of eternal life is through Christ Jesus. All you have to do is accept the gift. If I was to give you the keys to my truck, you couldn't have them unless you took them. Well, the same thing for heaven. Jesus is providing a way out. Everyone is on their way to hell right now on this one path to destruction, and he's providing the way out. It's that simple. God loves you so much. And I pray this message reaches the person it's intended for. Jesus does love you. And if you prayed for a sign, this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here, but I just wanted to let you know this. Jesus does love you. God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Jesus loves you.